Just like I'm number three Heard you tell your friends I got what you need This money make her do things that I've never seen I can tell that you don't really love me Appreciate the love and support on the last two videos I dropped. So I had to bring a banger for y'all today. A little, I'm going to put it this way. It's a little controversial for all the fans out there. But I'm going to make it as factual as possible. We got the top 10 most overrated players in the NBA today. 2019-2020 season. Now. I'm going to be honest, most of these players that's on this list are going to be based, are going to be honestly based on their whole, mostly been overrated their whole career, honestly. Most of these players I'm putting on this list have been labeled as overrated their whole career, in my opinion. But I am going to spit up facts. I'm going to, you know, talk. And tell you why they're overrated and spit out facts of why they're overrated. So, without further ado, let's get it. All right, we got our number 10. We got Alonzo Ball. Now, over the last couple of games, he has been improving. He has been a little more aggressive. But, man, come on. We know when he was drafted number two overall by the Lakers, you got his... His dad, LeVar Ball, delusional, um, saying that he's going to be better than Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's, you know how that turned out in L.A. Uh, that's why he's off the Lakers, one. Two, that's all why he's on the Pelicans. Three, that's why LeVar Ball hasn't spoken since he was on first take with CBNA about a couple months ago. Yeah, so y'all see the stats. Y'all see what he's uh, producing right now. Uh, he's averaging 12 points, a little, a little improvement. Um, five, five rebounds, five assists. You know, he, I, I expect him to be more aggressive. That's all he got to do is be more aggressive. And on the Pelicans, he's doing a little better job. But... He's still on my list as top 10. He's still number 10 as one of the most overrated because obviously they thought he was going to be the next Magic Johnson coming out coming out of uh, UCLA. So, yeah, man. He's at number 10. Now, at number 9, I got Kyle Kuzma. Yes. At number 9, Kyle Kuzma. Here. We know all the reports about him might get might be traded from LA. How he how he's not producing at all. I mean, he's averaging he's averaging the same amount of points as Lonzo. Ain't that crazy? He's averaging only 12 points this year. Now I feel like he's trying to adjust to the role he's playing on since they got AD with LeBron. But still, there's no excuse, man. I think he's trying to Hollywood. Then actually focusing on the court and playing basketball. He's doing all these new hairdos and all this stuff. All this fashion, you know, dressing up. The best game he had this season was on Christmas Day versus the Clippers, where he dropped 25 points. Why can't he do that consistently? This is why he's been that's this is why there's been so many trade rooms out there for him to get traded. And how he was, I guess, on Twitter slit dissing LeBron. Um, y'all know what the tweet was. I don't know how to say what it was, but yeah, man. Uh, cool, she got stuff up your game, dog. That's why you're number nine on my list. Now, at number eight, at number eight, we have Hassan Whiteside. Now, I've been feeling like this for like the past 
year and a half on him. Um, Y'all see the numbers. He's putting up really good numbers, but that is not the point. I'm not going to go as far as saying he is a cancer in the locker room because I feel like that's very disrespectful to anybody, for anybody to say that about a person. But I will say there's a reason why the Trailblazers have a bad record and is, I guess, seven to eight games below 500. He is one of the reasons. I feel like he, I feel like he's one of the laziest players in the NBA. One. Two, he does not contribute to the team. It don't matter what kind of numbers he's putting up. He's putting up the best numbers probably his whole career. 15.8 15 point, 15, 15. points per game, 14 rebounds, 60% from the field. I guess like two blocks. But you see the record? The Trailblazers' chemistry is not there. He's been like, and this is the reason why Miami is balling without him. So that's one of the biggest reasons why he's number eight on my list. He just doesn't do anything for a team. Now, at number seven, we have Blake Griffin. Now that he's on Detroit, he's getting exposed. This season, I mean, he's injured. He only played 18 games. It's probably his worst season of his career. Uh, obviously, he's not healthy. He's averaging 15.5 points per game with only less than five rebounds. Um, but, again, he just he's another player that really doesn't add any value to the team. He will put up the numbers, but nobody will really pay attention to him. Like... I guess he's on Detroit. I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not going to make that. Honestly, I don't think that's an excuse. I don't care what team you are. You should be able to play your heart out. So, he just, he just really doesn't do anything for the team. He doesn't do anything for Detroit. I feel like they need to get rid of him or Andre Drummond for them to, for Detroit to approve. Uh, they need another, they need probably another small four where they'll be some series. Yeah, man, that's why Blake Griffin is number seven on my list. He just, again, not a, one of those players that doesn't do anything for the team. Just put up numbers. All right. At number six, we got Ben Simmons. This player, man, it it pisses me off watching him. It really does. It, it He got the talent. We understand what talent he has. We understand what potential he has, but I feel like he lacks the passion of getting better and trying to win a championship with the 76ers. He's the reason why the 76ers are not off the par. He's holding them back. He's holding Joel and B back. He's holding the rest of the team back. He will not try to get better. He lacks the passion of the game. He got everything else. He got, he get, he's a great playmaker, great passer, great finisher at the basket. Won't shoot the ball whatsoever. He shot two, three, uh, threes this year, and everybody said that's an improvement. I don't care. You should be shooting that at least two to three three points every game. But you got Giannis, you got all these other big men shooting threes more than you in one game. What's the excuse? I'm sorry. I'm just I. This guy is, it pisses me off watching him because we know the potential he has. This is why, you see the numbers he's putting up. Averaging almost a triple-double, but only 14.9 points per game. You got, you you are more talented than that. Step up. This is why you're on my list. All right, y'all. It's another person y'all gonna give me mad at comments about. All right, number five, I got Russell Westbrook. Now, Quick disclaimer, I am a fan of Russell Westbrook. I love his game. I love his passion. He's He works hard for it. He averages a triple-double. We get that. Only player to average a triple-double in three straight seasons, and nobody can want to give him credit for that. Nobody just, everybody just, you know, just keep quiet about him averaging a triple-double in the last two seasons, two, three seasons. It's amazing. Now, 
The reason why he's on my list, Russell Westbrook, I'm going to ask you this question. How many superstars do you need to win a championship? How many? We see the numbers you got. We see you with James back with James Harden. Let's count, let's, let's count the superstars, all right? Let's see. Kevin Durant. Right. Kevin Durant, one of the best players in the league. Injured. Uh, James Harden, sits man, that young James Harden. Paul George. We know Paul George is capable of. He was an MVP candidate last year, wasn't he? Melo was on the decline, but still could put up numbers like he's doing on Portland. And James Harden again, MVP back to back James Harden. What is that? Five, six superstars was Westbrook? What's the excuse? I, I just feel like you cannot win with him. It don't matter how many players they give Russell Westbrook. Oh, forgetting Oladipo. It's just Russell. I feel like um, he turns the ball over a lot. One, he won't improve his shooting. Two, but since he's another person who just put up stats, even though it's contributing to getting the playoffs. It's not contributing to championships and getting past to the next step. This is why Russell Westbrook is on my list. And I'm a fan of Russell Westbrook, but this is why. He, it's just, you don't, how many superstars you need, man, to win? Yeah, man, I hope he, I hope he turns around this season. Uh, but now, at number four, we got DeMar DeRozan. Now, Honestly, DeRozan, his career has hit a downfall. Um, he was good when he was on Toronto, you know. His game is mostly on, you know, mid-ranges and dunks. This is why he's not really talked about like that anymore, like he was in Toronto. In Toronto, they say he was one of the best players in the league. I was like, hold on, no, he's not. Yes, he was putting up the numbers. Another person was putting up numbers. But in the playoffs, he was choking. We know those stretches when he was in Toronto with Kyle Lowry. He was choking. Like, LeBron was, like, dominating him. Every time Cleveland faces Toronto, he's just dominating DeRozan. DeRozan would average, like, 12 points in the playoffs. Like, what are you doing? Now he's on San Antonio, and he's really getting exposed. He's still putting up, you know, 22 points per game, five rebounds, five assists. But again, nobody paying attention to him because one, he's on San Antonio. Two, he doesn't do anything impressive for him to be one of the top 10 players in the league. Or top, even top 15. I don't know if he's top 15 right now. Be honest. Um, he he won't. One, he won't improve on his shooting. He got a mid-range, but you got to go outside your comfort zone and shoot the ball from three. We know what kind of league is now. So, why would you? He just, that's why he's on my list, man. At number three, we got Andrew Wiggins. Now, Andrew Wiggins has improved a little bit this year. But we all know why he's on the list. He was compared to LeBron James. Stay off the weed! Yeah. See, Duh. he's averaging 24 points, five rebounds, three assists. Okay. He's shooting 44% from the field, 32% from three. Decent numbers, okay? But still, he's not contributing anything. I don't, I don't know why. I think it, it, is, it, is it because he's on Minnesota? You know, I like I said, this is probably his best year. He's playing pretty nice. He's playing pretty good. But there's a reason why a lot of players in the league don't like him because he lacks the passion of caring. Does he really care? 
does he really want to win or he just out there just put up numbers? I think he's one of those players who just want to get his money, put up numbers, and then go. I don't think he wants to win. Yeah, man. All right, top two. Y'all know I'm about to go with this one. At number two. Woo, this player right here. Draymond Green. This player right here, man. Okay. I get it. Great defensive player. One of the best defensive players in the league. What else? Great passer. He's a pretty good passer. What else? He's great in the system. With Steph Curry. When he had Steph Curry Clay. He was great in the system. He he belongs in Golden State. Like he belongs with the Warriors. But for him to be a three-time All-Star, for him to make the All-Star team that many times, and they saying he's still one of the best power forwards in the league, really? Y'all do y'all see the numbers on the screen right now? I know many players in the league that's averaging more points, more rebounds, and more assists. But since he was in the dynasty with the Warriors, he he gets credit more. Like he gets treated like treated better. Like I don't I don't get what's so impressive about Draymond. There'll be games where Draymond have zero points. And y'all still be like, oh my gosh, his defense is so great. Yes, we get it. He belongs in the system with Golden State. Let us, let's put it like this. Take Draymond off go to State. Where will he best fit? What team will he best fit on? And if he fits on that team, will he be an all-star? Ask that question. Answer that question for yourself. But yeah, man. What, that's why he's number two on my list. Again, great defensive player. I give him credit for that. Amazing defensive player. Good passer. But that's about it, man. Anyways, number one. <sighs> y'all know where I'm going with this one, man. Y'all know how I feel about this guy. A lot of people might agree with me. Kyle Lowry. <sighs> this guy, man. First of all, I'm going to say this. He's been in the league for a long time. I don't know how. He's been in the league for a while. I'll put it that way. He has been in the league for a while. He won. He chokes in the playoffs. He strengths in the playoffs. We, we know the stretch when he was with DeRozan. He would average 20 points in the regular season like he's doing right now, 20.8. And then he would average 12 in the, in the postseason. He's just that type of player. But uh, y'all want to give him... Five all-star appearances. Again, another player. What does he do great? I see him play all the time. He is not that impressive. There's many point guards I would put over him. One, Kimba. Two, I would put Chris Paul still over him. Um, three, uh, obviously Dane. I'm, I'm going this far. I would put Goo Will over in Kyle Lowry. Now, I would say this. I would say this. Kyle Lowry is a great defender. He's one of the best point guard defenders in the league. I'm going to give him credit on what he's due. He got that championship because of Kawhi, but he did contribute a little bit in the finals. He did play one of his best player performances ever. I would give him credit where credit is due. But other than that, for him to have five also appearances, I don't get it. I don't get what's so impressive about Kyle Lowry, man. I and people say he's underrated. No, he's not. What? For him to have five also, he about to, he about to, he probably gonna make the All Star team again this year. Like that is that is my top ten most overrated players list in the NBA today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. If y'all did, let's get this video to 10 likes, 10 likes, and I'll be dropping 
top 10 most underrated players NBA in the NBA list next video, man. But man, thank y'all for tuning in for this video. Uh, if y'all new to my channel, make sure y'all subscribe. So I'll be dropping more bangers like this so y'all don't want to miss out. Make sure y'all um, turn on post notifications so you get notified for another video I'll be dropping. And thank y'all for tuning in for this video. It's been your boy Will, and I'm out. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. This hoes got me sidetracked. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. I don't even mind that. Man, this hoes got me sidetracked. These hoes got me sidetracked. Goddamn, I'm so.